hello everyone good morning i am just sitting here in the kitchen with a semi-quiet house i think avery's starting to wake up from her nap um, but i'm sitting here drinking my coffee and i'm actually editing <laughs> look at me go <laughs> i think i'm sitting in the same spot as where i am in this video <laughs> but yeah here's my coffee it's my favorite mug although it has a chip in it i'm so sad i dropped it after getting out of the dishwasher one day such a bummer anyway yes i am editing so sorry my vlogs i mean you're gonna be watching this way late but my vlogs have been so delayed i have had zero time for me lately ever since school got out and we've been in summer and now porter doesn't take naps and obviously grayson hasn't been taking naps I feel like I'm with the kids a lot more. There's not so much like downtime as there used to be. It used to be while they were in school, I would be able to edit videos. I haven't had that chance. And so I've just been super behind. Then Anthony and I went on this week long vacation to New York that put me even further behind. And so I've just been trying to edit as much as I can. And I've been getting like zero time to do it. But I actually got a chance this weekend to do a little bit because why my house is so quiet because Anthony and the boys are actually in Toledo right now visiting my in-laws, Anthony's parents. Anthony had to go to Toledo to get some things fixed on his car. His dad is very knowledgeable with cars and he has this huge garage that he just built. And Anthony's car, he said it's like very close to almost 100,000 miles. It's like 89,000 miles or something like that. And he's never replaced the brakes on it the brake pads and then there was something else he needed to do too and so instead of us like taking it to a shop and having to pay for all of that his dad was like just bring it to my garage and i'll help you fix it and anthony just went and got the parts from like an auto zone and then went up to toledo to go fix his jeep um we were talking about it the other day eventually we are gonna have to replace his car anthony was saying like once you get up over a hundred thousand like your car just starts breaking down and we've had that car longer than we've been married so it'll be it's already been like eight eight years, eight, nine years. So we've just gotten a lot of use out of the car. Eventually we're gonna have to get a new one. I won't be sad because I can't even drive his car because it's stick shift and it's a Jeep. It gets horrible mileage and it has zero space. It's, got, it's a two door. So it's hard to even get the kids in. You have to like move the front seat to even get them in the back and then it's tiny back there and it has no trunk space. So I will not be sad when that car is gone, but it's been a good car and it's, it's lasted a good while. So anyway, Anthony went up and I said, well, hey, if you're going up anyway, why don't you take some of the kids with you? He couldn't take all three kids because, again, his car is very tiny. But he decided to take the two boys who were very excited. They love going and seeing their grandparents. And so they went with Anthony yesterday. And Anthony was like, oh, it'll just be a day trip. We'll come back same day. Well, I guess the car took longer than he thought to fix. And so they ended up just staying the night, which worked out because I ended up packing a bag just in case. If you know my husband, he likes to underestimate how long it will take to get a job done. So they are there. Um, it's the next day. So it's Sunday. They went left yesterday. They are coming back today at some point. Uh, but that just means that Avery and I have been having a girls weekend. Um, not very exciting though because she's just a baby so there's not that much I can do with her but it's just been nice because I've been able to treat her like she's an only child so I've been giving her like one-on-one -on -one attention which rarely happens I've been able to like work on her crawling and sitting up which I don't think I've even updated you guys she is crawling now kind of when she wants something and I can entice her she will crawl she will crawl across the um room but she won't just do it on her own and same with sitting up like if she wants to sit up she will but she still prefers to be on her belly but nevertheless she is moving she is crawling so it's very exciting so yesterday for some reason the thing that most entices her is magnetiles she loves the boys magnetiles we'll build like little houses and then she'll come in like godzilla and like just destroy them she loves it so a lot of the day yesterday it was just me going on one side of the room building a little magnetile house her seeing it crawling over destroying it and then me going on the other side and then just making her crawl back and forth back and forth trying to get more 
um, practice in. We have our next PT appointment a week from tomorrow. So I want to get her like really crawling so that when the physical therapist comes, she's like very impressed with Avery's progress. So I'm hoping to be able to um, get her more confident in crawling so that she does it a lot more often. So that was super exciting um, seeing her moving. But yeah, so we did that. We went on some walks. I hardly ever get to take just Avery on a walk anymore because I usually have to take the boys with us and they don't want to walk. They want to go to the park, but Avery doesn't really care. I mean, she likes swinging on the park, but she's not the age where she's like, we have to go to the park. She doesn't care. So we went on two walks yesterday. Um, I'm still babysitting my parents dog Berkeley so we um, took her on some walks too I went and got some chick-fil-a because I had some gift cards so yeah I was just kind of like do whatever you want and then while Avery's been napping I've been able to edit vlogs and we've been watching like silly shows like right now I have keeping up with the Kardashians on the TV so I've just been playing it because I can play whatever I want I don't have to play the kids silly TV shows and I don't have to play and Anthony hates when I watch the Kardashians because he's like it's so dumb which it is dumb but it's like my guilty TV so we've been watching that and just doing whatever we want so it's been really nice but the boys are coming back today um they actually have to be back by a certain time because tonight we are going over to my brother and sister-in-law's house to celebrate my dad's birthday my dad's birthday is actually tomorrow but because today's sunday we're all getting together today to celebrate him i actually being the oldest sister i well, it's like me and my um, the second oldest, Allison. We are mostly in charge of all of the gifts whenever there is a holiday or a birthday coming up. It's very annoying, but it is what it is. So even though I basically took on the whole Father's Day gift and that wasn't too long ago, nobody was stepping up. So then I had to take on the um, dad birthday gift. So I wrapped it and had it sent to me. <laughs> this is the only wrapping paper I had, birthday boy, because I have it like for my kids. This is the only thing I had. So sorry, dad, you're getting birthday boy wrapping paper. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's a printer. I asked my mom what my dad could use. He's so hard to buy for because, you know, when guys get older, they just buy what they need when they need it. So it's very hard to buy him gifts. For Father's Day, we ended up getting, framing a bunch of pictures of him with his airplane. He's He's got a private airplane and he flies us. You've seen it in the vlogs. So he got like a photo shoot with the airplane and we like framed it so he could put it up on his wall. So that was like more of a thoughtful gift. And so this time we're doing more of like a practical gift. So I think um, I think boys really like practical gifts. I know Anthony does. So that's what we are getting my dad. Also, uh, I am in charge of making the birthday cake for my dad. Well, originally I have volunteered because I know the boys love helping me make birthday cakes. They mostly just like licking the batter at the end, but it's still fun. They like adding the ingredients and turning on the mixer and blah, blah, blah. Um, but the boys are not here. So I guess I'm just gonna have to make the cake myself. <laughs> um, maybe they'll be back in time to help me frost it and then they just wanna eat all the frosting. But uh, yeah, that didn't really work out how I thought it was going to, but didn't really realize that they would be gone this long. I thought they would be back today, earlier today. So anyway, Avery and I are just kinda hanging out. She, I can hear her. Um, moving around upstairs. So I think she woke up from her nap. So I'm gonna go get her and then we're gonna go get some groceries at the grocery store. Very exciting. And maybe we'll get a little walk in. I love taking walks. Avery does likes it for a little bit and then she just gets kind of tired of just sitting there. So we might do that and then probably just work on more crawling. So very exciting things happening over here. But um, yeah, I will vlog the cake maybe and uh they get together at my dad's house if the kids aren't being crazy sometimes i feel like when we take trips somewhere and we get back and try to get back into a normal routine it's really hard on the kids they kind of act out and they're more whiny and emotional i think that's just a normal thing but i'm just kind of bracing myself for the chaos it's been a lot um a lot more quiet and peaceful here <laughs> these past two days but i do miss my boys and of course i miss anthony so i'm very excited to see them when they get home but i'm sure they're having a lot of fun in toledo so 
anyway, I will just keep vlogging as the day goes on. All right, I'm gonna show you guys Avery's crawling skills. I've got my little magnetile creation. Let's watch her. Come get it. Come on. <laughs> Berkeley. Berkeley, you gotta move out of the way. Uh oh, Berkeley's trying to get it. Here. Go get it. She's got a little dress on, so it's kind of hard to crawl. This is Avery's crawling, so it's still a work in progress. It's kind of like the worm, <laughs> or like she's an inchworm. Come get it. <laughs> Come on. It's right here. Come on. Come get it. Here she comes. There she comes, you almost got it. Yay, good job, Avery. Woohoo! Yeah, you did it. This is what we do, just back and forth, trying to get the magnetiles while watching the Kardashians. Uh-oh, now her foot's gonna get stuck. <laughs> She's big girl now. And Berkeley's always trying to get attention. Hey, dear you. Happy birthday.